13 Food for Families, sponsored by Andy J. Egan Company. Well, there's something special happening in Ottawa County that can best be summed up with that old cliche. It's a win-win. It's called the Local Farm Relief Effort. It was created to assist small farms impacted by COVID-19 restrictions. Funds donated by the community are used to purchase fresh produce, and that produce is distributed through partnering food pantries to help families in need. The farms win, so do the families. I visited one of the participating farms in Holland, and you're going to notice its location is very unique. The founders tore up the asphalt of an old outlet mall parking lot and added soil. Schools are closed. Yeah, so just kind of clear it just Restaurants are kind of struggling. Look at that. And the farmers markets have a number of new restrictions, one being how many people can come and shop. And for most of the small farms, that's how they sell their produce. Craig Scrotenbor is the executive director of Harvest and Ministries and one of the visionaries behind the local farm relief effort. It helps the farmers, it helps the family, and it keeps the dollars in our community. Emily Pratt is the program's coordinator. I work with the farmers buying the produce, transporting it, and then also working with the pantries and delivering all the produce. So good. It's an effort 8th Day Farm Director Andy Rosendahl is thrilled to be part of. We're loving this partnership because it's um, a way for us to provide food for those who are in need and just do a little, little bit of a small part. But not only that, but it benefits the, the whole community. The economy is, is stronger because we're able to hire more staff. And for us, it's even mean, meaningful because we can provide our certified naturally grown food to, to those in need. And when it comes to those visiting the pantry. A lot of people are surprised because they're not used to seeing those options available or so fresh. A lot of produce that we get from like other um, avenues are a little older sometimes and this like we pick it on Mondays and we pick it up on Mondays and sometimes people come in they get it on a Monday so they're all really excited. Case in point this kale. It was cut at 8th Day Farm in the Holland Town Center around 10 a.m. and in the cooler at Harvest and Ministries in Zealand by 11. As we look at this program one thing is COVID is not going away. So the economic impact on the farm community, on the families that we serve, is going to be here for a while. So the need remains. The program has already been wildly successful. They're just $2,500 shy of their $40,000 goal to keep the program going through October. And if you'd like to help, we have more information on the story in our website, 13onyourside.com.